Okay, episode four of Warsaw. Um, you may notice there are still construction noises going in the background. That's because this is all being recorded in the same day, and uh, our good man Todd in the kitchen is still doing his work. So we got an excursion for Vola and Praga. Praga, we'll get that, and Vola. Where's Vola? Vola. So we'll send some there. Purchase both of these. We have zero supplies. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and sell some of these weapons. There's no way to tell what the hell you're selling. Or buying. Oops. We don't even have anybody that can use a pistol yet, and there's no guarantee that out of the four more random soldiers we may acquire, that we'll even be able to use said items. So... We should sell a little bit of more of the small ammo. Buy some more heavy ammo. And a little bit more small ammo we can sell. Alright, there we go. We are good. Sell one flare. I sold three. So we have 150 supplies, just in case we get a sniper event. If we don't, I wouldn't dare spoil it for you guys. <laughs> so, we're gonna have to fight a Sturmpanzer. So, in order to fight a Sturmpanzer, we were, are, we we're going to have to acquire Shield Breaker on both of these characters. Which demands that... Okay, we already got Shield Breaker on that one. Let's just get another Shield Breaker. We're gonna swap it out for Mow Down, because we'll just use heavy ammo if need be, if, that's, if it comes to it. So, we've abandoned the fortification ability. And we've done this because we are changing formation to a uh, E-shape. We're changing it to an E-shaped for formation without the uh, top and bottom halves of the E in order to capitalize on Jadwiga's Stamina Restore. Now, this Stamina Restore is very good when you combine it with Demolition's characters because Demolition's characters often use two points of Stamina to do what they need to do. So, you'll be able to use them once the first turn and then again the next turn. But then after that, they're completely tapped out for two turns in a row. Jadwiga makes sure that they get two stamina back every turn so they can consistently bombard their enemies should they need feel the need to do so. So this Man Stopper is actually going to help us with the armor penetration against the Sturmpanzer. Sturmpanzers, you need to prepare for the explosives to be used. And we've got the ability to get rid of enemy cover if we need to. We can destroy it, and we can destroy whatever we need to destroy. We're gonna defend Shrom... Mishi... Shrom... Oh, somebody help me pronounce it, but I can pronounce Stumpenz. I speak a small amount of German. Matter of fact, I have a German friend. I should bring him here and force him to commentate for me. His name is Cake. And he likes strawberries. That's his favorite. Alright, so let's take, uh... One, two... Uh, three... Four... Five, six. Six, uh... Sets of these. Let's take a, a third compass, just in case. And let's get rid of some of this long ammo. There we go. Now, we're, we're taking plenty of heavy ammo. Oh. Uh, why not? Let's take the very last piece. Not much reason not to, other than trying to restrain ourselves. But no, we're going to use heavy ammo for all of our formations. So... Our Wanda, she needs to be at the back row for this, for sabotage. So, 
that's where we're going to position her. Because every single one of our skills needs her to be in the, in the back, except for full auto. But she has that so she can attack the front ranks if need be. She can be assist of assistance. And we've got Kazimirez, who's going to serve as our rank 2 trooper. Kristoff, who's going to serve on the flank by himself. And Jabriga. Now you can see how the cover doesn't benefit this formation as much. So Wanda getting rid of the other skills, it wouldn't be as good for her. Now the, we are vulnerable to being shuffled a little bit, but in this case, uh, Wanda will be able to use the shield breaker frequently, and all characters will benefit from Jadwiga's stamina. Alright, let us continue the mission. Oh, wait. Let's bring a couple of flares. So, sorry if you guys are hearing the background noises. That's Todd working in the kitchen, doing his good work. Now, let's not forget to bandage up this time, eh, Troy? John Bigger? Good. And we took the extra compass. Now, normally I only take two compasses. We took an extra one because we needed to heal up so much. Unexpectedly, your team encounters a German patrol. Quite fortunately, however, they do not seem to have spotted you. The element of surprise on your side, you may yet play cards to your liking. We have anybody with intuition? Well, we got Jadwiga and Casimirez with intuition. Oh, Wanda got the dexterity! Uh, we can chuck a grenade at their feet. That'll probably use some of our heavy ammo. Set up sniper shots. That'll probably be long ammo. This is probably just gonna be a straight up fight. Let's go with uh, Wanda's. Sniper. We need to handle him quickly with explosives. So we got a marksman nicknamed Pigeon Fanciers. Snipers are terrifying as a soldier, even in the modern world. And this is not me reading the text, but this is me just giving my opinion. They are absolutely terrifying. It's somebody that's shooting you from you have no idea where for miles of distance at any angle. Like, you don't even know that they even exist, but they can even see the expressions on your face that can zoom in so close with the scope. I mean, scopes back in this time weren't nearly as good as they are now, but... Um, but to just be fired at and to not even know where the enemy is, or shit, even if they can still see you after you duck down behind a desk, they probably are looking directly at you, getting ready to kill you and the rest of your team, and you'll never even return a shot, hell, lest you even know which direction to shoot back at them from. Snipers are terrifying. But anyways, he doesn't like being in the front rank for either one of his uh, attacks. And he can't target the front ranks of our team. Oh no, he can't target the back ranks with a uh, penetrating round. But he can't fire at all uh, in rank one if he's positioned there. They have a really high crit rate. Look at that, 15%. That's terrifying. Not 
All right, Wanda, let him have it. Kristoff, you're up next. Shit, that's gonna fool him. Oh, he almost got bled and suppressed, but he resisted the uh, bleed. He got suppressed, but it was the end of the round right there, so it didn't matter. He got moved, though, so he didn't benefit from Jean Vigas' stamina restore. Sad times. Double down for the kill. No, 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 no! Ah, man, that shredder shot. That shit hurts. But yeah, we can commit to two actions with a character each turn without suffering too much immediate damage. Also, thanks. Pull them back in place. Good doggy. Let's double down again. God damn it. Huh. Trying to kill that sniper. We just keep missing. And you know what? He's only got one HP. Fuck you. There you go. That's how you kill the that's how you seal the deal at one HP. Just punch him in the face. She took bonus damage from that attack. Which is not good. He's not gonna move from that back rank. And the dog definitely will. Let's see if we can suppress him. Good. We forced him to switch ranks and we suppressed him. So we can take bonus damage and kill him in one shot. If he would have went first, uh, then we would have beat him up. Oh crap, 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 crap. I meant to switch to Kazimiras and uh Damn it. Alright, well whatever. Fuck you, doggy. I meant to push the dog back so he couldn't take an action. He's gonna take some more bleed after this. We're gonna put everybody to full health now. The dog only had one action, and I'll take three actions with John Wigo. Push the dog back and start slapping him and uh, shooting him in the face. And 
and he's a frontline unit as well as a flank, so miss. That's that's what that's what happens. Miss. God damn it. Eighty-five accuracy, seventy-eight. All right, well. We got fuck all out of that. Camouflage time. Oh! Okay. So we got a brand co Oh, they got the brick pile! Damn it, Fritz on Popali! There we go. Burn, please. Alright, one burn. So there's the mileage. We missed the sh Scheisbecker trooper. In position. Let me look at the Shizbeck here and see if it's better to hold him. Shizbeck or Shizbeck. There we go. Yeah, it's better to push him. And then next turn, I'll pull the officer. First, I'm gonna shoot him in the face, though. Psyched or rotten. Ouch. Fucking shy speckers. Ooh, you know what? No, I'll pull. If I pull, this puts the officer in rank one, deals damage so he might die from the flames. Puts the Bren Komodo in rank three. In position. You're dead. Both of you are almost dead. You might die. Alright. Officer is dead.
ce zil Alright, we need to restore some life. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Trzeba to opatrzeć. And that guy, Scheisbecker, is. doesn't like being in the back ranks. Front, he could be okay with because he could still aim and shoot, but not the back. Got it. As you can see, the power creep on the freaking stamina restore is insane. Like, the, the, lo the difference in how quickly we kill enemies because we can commit to two actions rather than being stuck on just one action per turn. Because, you know, your stamina inevitably drops down. Not only that, but they don't get the bonus damage. Not as much anymore because everybody's got stamina. And she's the she's the first character you get. It's crazy. The power creep, man. Put it put everybody back in formation. So he has maximum chance to hit. Death. Oh, triple bleed. Frontliner? Uh, yes, he is. So, you know what? I'm gonna take this flanking shot because this is literal death if we hit. And the Scheisbecker Trooper is our greatest threat. Bleed chance up. We still got two ticks on this character. Alright, that dude's dead from the bleed. And as you can see, my style is very aggressive Ooh. about using heavy ammo. Uh, heavy ammo is... It gives you a very, very quick advantage. And if you can capitalize on it... <laughs> he just <laughs> He just starts panicking and is like, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, build a trench, build a trench, and then he just bleeds out. And there's nobody to use the trench. Because these riflemen, they don't uh They they don't they don't really 
Unless you move them. Dada. They just kind of sit there and, uh... Do nothing, really. Trzeba to opatrzeć. He's got 25% damage, so he deals more damage than the flank does, but I'm keeping that uh, stamina high here because of the accuracy bonus. You, you, you lose 10% accuracy if your stamina is below 3. So basically, your first shot is great, and then every shot after that is reduced until you recover. But you can get 100% chances to hit in this game, which is great. It's not capped like in Darkest Dungeon at 95%. Dude. I suppose that's a distinctive difference between this game and that one, though. One of the many. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Trzeba to opatrzeć. He's got one hundred two percent accuracy. He can't miss. All right. So the XP amounts are rising as the German soldiers are leveling up. Actually, no, that's that's a complete, complete lie. I'm sorry. But the German soldiers, they start with basically everything uh, on extreme difficulty. On lower difficulties, they might not have certain things until, you know, you get so far into the months. But... Uh, no, if, if you... Hold on, I'm, the, the, the construction noises are driving me nuts. Okay, there we go. They all resisted it? Alright, we killed one of them so they don't get an action. Can we double down? Nope, we can't. Full auto doesn't hit rank 3, so I think our best bet is to just kill the Scheisbecker Trooper. He's the biggest threat here. That was a really shit grenade damage you just dealt there. Yeah, just to give you an idea how big the accuracy penalty is, like 60% chance to hit versus clear out, which ignores cover. 
84, 86. That's a big difference. We just killed one of them, right? Yeah, so hold on. I think it's a good idea to smash his face and then shoot him. <laughs> I took all that time to just think, alright, well, I think that I'm gonna smash his face and shoot him. 95% chance to hit. If we hit this, we get the EXP. Okay. If we didn't, I wasn't gonna be fucked. To do I, I couldn't be fucked. Raised his resistances, and I shall raise my hand. Happy. He moves forward and suppresses if he hits. Those grenadiers are pretty efficient enemies. He's got his resistances raised, so let's kill his friend for a little bit. Let's suppress his friend. So we're, not so we're, the friend. we're not gonna kill one this turn. Probably not. There we go. Now we start destroying him with the frontliner and the, uh... The flank. Eliminator. Aww. Look at that damage. Right, so I want the officer to take an action first. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yes! And now we kill his friend. We skip the enemy's turn. Fake him out again, suppress him so he can't shoot us. Oh, he resisted it, holy shit. Pistol snipe. He called me out on my bullshit. Excellent work. Double, uh, double objective. Yay. Time to use another flare. Excellent. In one use of camouflage, we get two battles. Yay. That's efficiency. Right. So, what I don't know is if this sabotage skill affects, like, I don't even know what the hell it affects, but I know it's adjacent enemies, so front, behind, left, right. But it doesn't work diagonally for adjacent enemies. So, uh, I'm gonna murder the crap out of them now. It's 
Co wy na to, frajerzy? Oh man, I miss Helen. Helen was a really good character. I miss her a lot. She was a radio user that gave us bonus heavy ammo at the end of a fight. I really liked that. Thanks. You gave the dog cover. enemies. Damn it! Verschwinde! Kristoff could fire, he, he could kill. God damn, 30 crit. Why does it say her health is still 21? Okay, there we go. I need to recover two points of stamina on Kristoff. Thank God he missed. Alright. This should kill all of them. Yep. Fuck! It missed the dog. Tootie! Das wird dir Kraft geben. Dame Frisson Popali. We might have to take repurpose, maybe. If the drought of ammo uh, loss continues, either that or we're gonna have to get and trade out contraband ammo for uh, extra long ammo after each battle. Fish 
Linda. Probably get both. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Let's try to use as much of the short ammo as we can. Huh. Ow. Jadwiga, you're the MVP for these two dudes. We need to use up some of that short ammo. And we don't have a whole lot of ammo left for, with the uh, shield breaker. Uh, I'm sorry, the heavy ammo. We do sell a lot of it, so, I mean, we don't have to use it on the field. We can use it off the field as well, which is exactly what we did recently, so. Is he a frontline? No, he's just an infantry. But there's another character who's crazy good. Her name is Anna. She's a child, and whenever she uses her sniper rifle, she says the word Spiel, which means play in German. That's fucked up that, like... <laughs> Kids literally grew up during these wars, thinking that war was how people really played. That they had they have no concept of anything else in the world. They they have no concept of like peace because they, they've ne it's never been a thing in their entire life. If any of you have family that uh, survived wars. Give him a little bit of love, just just once, after seeing this video. Even if you hate him, and you could express it some kind of way, even by I don't know, sending him a message saying you hate him if you hate him so much. But something. Das ist ein Sturmpanzer. Oh man, look at all these supplies! It's a rifle! We'll be back for this stuff. Two rifles. Yeah, we're definitely coming back for this stuff. We have five more compasses. Yeah, we could do a lap around the entire map. Did we miss the Sturmpanzer way back there? Oh crap, man. I was sitting here thinking, where the hell is it? But we missed it a while back. Alright, no delay. First thing, we're just gonna rocket launch. Double rocket launch. In Maybe we should save the rest for the Sturmpanzer. Nah, we'll have enough. See, that's why I like heavy weapons. That really quick snap advantage. Right, boom, they're both low HP, go for the kill. Explosives in guerrilla warfare. You know, we need to send Wanda on a stealth mission. You see that big ass rocket launcher she's carrying? And the machine gun that she carries as well? 
just put a suppressor on both of them. The Germans won't hear a thing. I probably should have killed first. Let's suppress the Jaeger. I'm gonna go for the kill on this guy. Nice! Alright, we're down to a single German officer. Let's suppress him. Oh, we could have just moved him to the front row. That would have been an easier solution, wouldn't it? Let's heal everyone up. Oh, I just got my refund uh, notification from Best Buy. You know, how I was, you know, having trouble when I was playing Darkest Dungeon with that old computer. Oh crap. Alright, yeah, everything's processed. Awesome. One receipt. For the Targus Universal Charger. Uh, one receipt for the... The 130 watt Dell charger. Yep, it is all finished. Well, that's good news. I got my money back for that, so I might be able to afford XCOM Chimera Squad. Once we get done with this playthrough, we'll play another one. I haven't had the chance to play through that. We tried it early on the channel, but you know, I had to delete those videos because the game, when it when I bought it uh, early on release, it, it was so unplayable, it wasn't even funny. Ooh! That was a big hit. Alright, that's it. There's one of these rifles. It's a rifle on a special quest from Kristoff. And, uh... Cracked my elbow. Okay, so we need that rifle. We don't need these flares. Uh, we've got a shit ton of camouflage. We can drop that for the rifle. We'll come back if, and only if, we have space for medkit player rifle. Everybody's at full health. Yeah, that, you see that shining? Now, let's take out this Sturmpanzer. Not if he doesn't have any reinforcements that he can rely on. This guy belongs to us now. We'll use the camouflage for the uh, one point advantage. Now this... It's a Sturmpanzer. Starten, Hooten, Barten, Farten. That's exactly what that damn damn thing is doing. So if you look at its resilience, it's got 90 resilience. So that's why you want to save shield breaker ammo for this crap, because you need to break that shield, <laughs> basically. But before we do that, we've got two German pioneers, 
and you can see it's got a machine gun, targets two people, main cannon, which targets all four, uh, in an area, but it can't target the back uh, two people, so Wanda won't get hit by that, just the three others. And it has to use a reload action in order to in order to use the main cannon again. So with these two pioneers, they're gonna repair that thing. So we we need to kill them first before anything else. Just the pioneer, yeah. Uh, repair. He has the repair skill on armored and heavy weapon units. So we can't be hasty and waste our ammo right away. We also have to be careful and not give him a bonus damage against us. Holy shit, that was lucky. Oh, and Anna, the sniper, she can suppress heavy weapon enemies, and it's a 200% suppression chance. So there's nothing in the game that resists that shit. Snipers are insane. They're terrifying. Taking two actions with their character so they don't get the bonus 20% damage. Dislodge. That's painful. Shuffling us around. Like a bunch of monkeys. Now, if we kill this guy, a chance to hit is what? Uh, 95%, 17 with Kristoff. What about Casimir's? 18. 92%. I'll take the action with Kristoff. No, I'll take it with Casimirez because uh, Chad Viga got moved. We still made the shot. This thing is worth three actions. us back in a position. I appreciate that a lot. Some of the ways the characters are voiced on here, it sounds so weird and unnatural. I Like, the officers are supposed to sound inspiring, so they say, say stuff like, rally the troops, and they just say, LOS, instead of, LOS, LOS! Stehlhandgranate! But instead it's more like, Stehlhandgranate, <laughs> with no sense of urgency, whatever. <laughs> It's as if they're just saying, hey, you know what, yeah, kind of throwing a grenade over here. Wait, what the? No. <laughs> as long as that main cannon is not loaded, I don't feel too threatened. Hi. Ow. Let's kill this guy with Kristoff first. There we go. Don't load that cannon. Fuck you. Our next two actions need to be heals. Nice crit heal. Oh my god, don't abandon that mission, though. No. Uh, Sturmpanzer. Main cannon, 15% chance to crit, 17 to 25 damage. 
Trzeba to opatrzeć. He can't cannon Wanda. Unless I read that wrong. Did I read it wrong? No, he cannot cannon Wanda. So, Wanda is relatively safe. Let's get it back in formation. Ooh, that crit, 37. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Trzeba to opatrzeć. God, holy shit. I you I moved Kazimiraz back because I didn't want three people to get hit by the cannon again. But Jadwiga was in, in range being killed. I think he should load his cannon now. I'm pretty sure he should. Oh, he's continuing to attack. Oh my god, he's really persistent. Also, John Riga has just dodged so many goddamn attacks. Finish it off here and now. Uh, 16 to. Oh! Zero to zero. Zero to zero. Alright. Let's just use the heavy ammo and kill him. Alright, we took out a tank. Nice. have room for a little bit of that stuff that we passed up. So let's go back and grab that while we're here. Get every little bit we can. Some may say it's not necessary, truly. You don't need it. Yes, I do! But you're never gonna use it, be quiet. That 
was a good fight with the Sturmpanzer. He had us on the edge of our seat a couple of times. We almost died. But we pulled through. And there will be no tanks in this area of the city for the foreseeable future. Taking down a tank is a big deal. Day five, plus five days, so Vola has increased in attrition, Okota has decreased in morale for a little bit for the past five days, Mokoto has decreased in morale, Zolabor's uh, morale is still maxed out there. Polish Committee of National Libertarian. Oh, not Libertarian. Committee of National Liberation. A Soviet sponsored puppet. Provisional government. Oh, so it's like propaganda. There is no uprising in Warsaw. Alright, so the next day, day 13, we took on a five day mission, so. You can actually have a, quite a few missions if you take on non-stop three-day missions. On that same note, your attrition will not increase as much. Or your morale won't drop as much because you'll have plenty of uh, these to send out. So, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate you all. We took out the Sturmpanzer. 